Hi guys, Fireplays here and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and today guys, it is round 20 and we are up against the Richmond Tigers in what is episode 21 of this uh, AFL Evolution 2 career mode, alright? So, I have just gone through off camera, not played any games as you guys can see, the last game that we played was our game against Essendon, which is up on the channel. Um, so yeah, uh, Billy Frampton bagged six. So I'm, I've learned a few new things uh, today. So we're just gonna go into our team stats real quick. And we're just gonna have a look at who is our, who is our best scorer this year? Who's got, our, so Darcy Fogarty has our most goals and Luke Brown, like Jordan Butts and those people have got least. Let's see who's got the most behinds. Fogarty as well. So Fogarty's been pretty pretty good. Uh, I've liked Ben Keys this season. I'm going to go over to goal assists. Ben Keys, Riley O'Brien, Atkins and Crouch and the other Crouch have been fantastic at bringing the ball in. Uh, Gallucci's been really good himself with his scores. Fogarty has been incredible. And then all the way down to like some of our defenders getting involved with these assists. Now, over here to the leading player, I'm gonna get disposal. I'm just gonna go to kicks, who's had the most kicks? Sam Gray, who's had the most handles? Angus Brayshaw, who's had the most disposals? Sam Gray, who's had the most contested possessions? Tom Barras, who's had the most uncontested? Angus Brayshaw. What about disposal efficiency? Tom Barras and then Clangers is O'Brien. <laughs> Look, uh, oh my gosh, uh, this is a little bit uh, scared now. O'Brien, Walker, Crouch, Atkins, Brown, Gallucci, and then Knight not too far down, Gibbs, Hardigan, McKay. This is a little bit worrying and then I can see Seedsman as well. All right, that's a little bit worried, but okay, right. So now one more thing that I do want to do in the stat leaders real quick before we get into today's uh, game is the um, is the scoring. Who is currently leading the Coleman? So we have got a look here. Ben Ronk. So yes, Darcy Fogley's got our most uh, goals. So we're going to see if we can try and bump him up to win the Coleman. So team management. So this week for team management, we are going to be chucking Darcy Fogarty in that full forward line. Uh, I do like him there. Uh, he's definitely a man to look out for. I feel like Gallucci in that pocket. Maybe he can swap with Murphy. Oh no, I uh, I think I like him on. I think I like him on Hooley rather than on uh, Floston. Then we've got Fogarty on Asprey, Walker who's on Rant, McKay on Bolter, Lynch on Short, Crouch on Lambert, uh, that's Brad Crouch on Lambert, Matt Crouch on Prestia, O'Brien on Ankervis, Seisman on McIntosh, he should win that all day today, Seisman, Atkins on Caddy, Gibbs on Pickett, Brown on Lynch, Interesting to see how that will go. Hard to get on Bolton. That's going to be a really good matchup. Miller on Castagna, another great matchup. Smith should dominate against Arts. Talia should dominate against Higgins and Rioli and Duda. That'll be that'll be interesting to see now. Ben Crocker. I reckon I'll bring everyone who is on the interchange bench. But don't forget, Chase Jones is 74. So, but I've been pretty impressed with Frampton and Crocker, so I don't think I need to leave anyone out this week. Uh, I reckon that's gonna be what we're gonna roll with. Now, before we go, I reckon we're just gonna have a look. They are third on ladder. We are sitting above them. If we go on to have a look at the big ladder stakes after today, we can be on 50 points and joint. We could perhaps be joint with the Giants if they draw today. Let's have a look at the fixture for, today, for the round. So we're the first team to play. GWS have Brisbane at in, in Canberra. So they should win that. Brisbane on the ladder. Let's see where they're going this season. Oh, they're 13th. Interesting. Remember, back at the start of the season, we had an epic thriller with them. But let's get into today's video. It is going to be the Tigers up against the... Um, Crows, but before we do, we're just going to go into our inbox real quick. Tyson Stengel, I don't, I don't think, I just don't think we can play Tyson Stengel right now. 
Maybe he might get a chance later. And Murphy, 50 games. Well done. I think I've already clapped for him. Trent Cotton is in red hot form. That's how we're going to be able to win a game. Um, but yeah, I reckon let's get into the video today. Uh, I will just give you a quick update on my staff. That's how we're going. Seven scouts, four negotiators, two marking depth, and then two medical staff at well and then our finances that is how we're rocking and rolling there so let's get into the video no more talking around let's get into it to the other so we've got a pretty good chance of winning this one so yeah it is the d uh, it is the crows <laughs> up against the Tigers at Adelaide Oval. So I'll see you guys there for what is a very important clash against the Richmond Tigers. Two very good teams. So I'll see you guys there at the Adelaide Oval for Richmond versus Adelaide Crows in the Adelaide Crows Coach Career episode 21, round 20. See you there. All right, guys, that loaded in pretty quickly. So you guys know the stakes, however, today. Win this. And I'm pretty confident we've cemented a spot in the finals. Lose, and, it's, and it will be very interesting. So, let's get this game underway. Adelaide versus Richmond from the Adelaide Oval. Now, O'Brien, nice start. Now, Gibbs trying to get in. All us at the MCG. They just absolutely got on the scoreboard way earlier than what we had planned. And Jake Arts has got a pretty good shot on goal and squizzes it home. So, first goal of the night goes to Richmond pretty early on in the game. Should have another. And they do. That this is not going to happen and he gets it. They've got three goals early on, Richmond. Gets back. Now Lynch. Lynch is going to have a shot for the first goal of today for a miracle start. Tom Lynch has kicked it. Tom Lynch has kicked a absolute beauty of a goal. And what a way to get Adelaide onto the, onto the scoreboard today. It's going to be a very big kick on Lynch's boot. And Talia didn't get there, so Tom Lynch kicks the goal. Now, where does Alex Rance go? The dangerous ball in the Hooli direction, but Jordan Gallucci takes the mark. He had Crocker. Big opportunity on Jordan Gallucci's boot, and he has nailed it. Does it have the legs? It does. It's on, it's on target, and it is there. A very big goal to finish off what has been a very eventful first quarter. So 15 to 25, Tigers taking in that 10-point lead. This is better than what it was at the MCG. So the Crows 2-3-15 plays the Tigers 4-1-25. The inside 50s have been dominated by us, and so have the hitouts, as well as not really anything else. But... Hardigan with three touches, Crouch with three touches, Crouch with two touches, Lynch and Gallucci each with the goal. Second quarter underway, live and free from the Adelaide Oval. It is the Crows versus the Tigers on the fireplace channel for the Crows coach career mode. And O'Brien to try and get things started. Now Crouch gives away a high tackle. What can Daniel Rioli do? He's going to kick a goal and it's hard for the Crows. And well, Lynch has done everything right. Slots the goal. Tigers up by 22 points. Hey, couldn't quite. Now, McKay. Oh, guess who's all free? Lachlan Murphy. Here we go. There's options flooding forward, but I don't mind. I'm happy to take the shot myself. Lachlan Murphy, very important goal, and he nails it. We are finally coming. It's, it's only Richmond by 17. Love. The wind going with them. And it's home, so it's back to a 23-point margin. And this, we're just not doing good enough. And it's half-time. The Tiger surge that quarter. 3-5, 23 Adelaide, 7-6, 48 Richmond. This is just annoying. Hardigan with seven touches, though. I've been pretty impressed with him. Then the next is three. Like, we need to get our disposals up. Third quarter, line free from the LA Oval. It is Crows versus Tigers in a pretty big clash. No breast here. And now, Tex. The Tigers, they're all over them. Now, that's Brad Crouch. And that's throwing the ball, Jack Ross. Brad Crouch, very big kick on his boot to perhaps maybe even decide the fate of this game. It lies on Brad Crouch's boot. And here come the Crows. We are coming back. And we're coming in nice and hungry. Caddy, O'Brien, they can train. And now O'Brien can have a shot. Is that another it is? 
The Crows, and they're coming, and O'Brien has started it. O'Brien has been fantastic today. Now Walker in the ruck. Keys trying, not David McKay. Instead now, it's going to come out to Lachlan Murphy, who will kick the goal. And now it's seven points. The Crows have come back. Tom Lynch left it behind, and he gets it. It's the first one there. He's a pretty good player. Now Gallucci gets it up over the top to O'Brien, who finds Crouch, and Crouch will go on to kick the goal. Big goal, back to a seven-point margin. Here come the Crows. So Billy Frampton can send it in. Nice long ball. Who's going to get there first? They're going to be Lynch. It should be Lynch. Sockers it off the deck. One point game. Here come the Crows. There, Crocker. Now, just decides to handle to a Tigers player. Brought through the ball. Gibbs. Massive opportunity on his boot now. To give the Crows the lead for the first time today. And it's home. The Crows have got the lead. Tigers, they're going to get the lead back. They do. This is putting pressure on the Crows to kick one. Surely just stop. Just a little tripper over the top. Lachlan Murphy. Again, as I say, big opportunity on his boot to really give the Crows what would look like a big realistic chance in the last quarter. And we lead by five now. Amazing. Asprey right on three quarter time. So it's the Crows by goal. 10-7-67 plays 9-7-61. It's pretty much been in the Crows' favour. Hardigan with nine touches. Crouch, Matt Crouch with eight. Wayne Miller with five. Murphy with three goals. Tom Lynch with two goals. And Bryce Gibbs with the one goal. It's going to be a big last quarter coming up. And it is the Crows versus the Tigers on the Fireplays channel in what is a massive, massive, massive game. Oh, no. Lynch. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. And it's a goal. Open goal. And they do. Shy Bolton puts him in front. And now, oh, wrapped up. Billy Frampton, high tackle. Billy Frampton, this is very important now. Billy Frampton is a right footer, so this should come back perfectly. And it, do and it does. So the Crows get one. Lynch gets wrapped up. Now, Lynch gets it back, kicks a goal. Jake Hartz, that is massive. Got to do something about it. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Now, Crocker, going to put it in. Gallucci, Gallucci, oh, Gallucci. We lead it by one point. The closest of games that you could possibly get. Now, O'Brien, Gibbs, Gibbs, pushed in the back. Miss it. If we're any chance. And he misses it. Make it. Walker does. Just going to bomb it up to Billy. Billy hasn't got a goal all day. Crocker. Ben Crocker sealed it. Game over. The Crows are coming home. <laughs> O'Brien. Now, here come the Crows again through Gibbs. Now, this is Walker. Gallucci. Walker needs to tackle. Now, McKay. Bolter. High tackle. And, well, Frampton could have almost. Crocker. There's still a chance. The slightest of chances is left with the Tigers. Nick Floston and it's over. The Crows come home. That is big. 13, 10, 88 plays 12, 9, 81 and we win it. Kyle Hardigan with the 11 touches. Shy Bolt, Nick Floston, Nathan Broad. I'd say so myself. But look at that. Guys, they managed to keep Big Billy Franson quiet. So with Darcy Fogarty, but they could not keep Lachlan Murphy quiet. Gallucci had a great game. Miller, Crouch, Hardigan, Gibbs for me as well. Um, and Tom Lynch, Murphy, Gallucci, they were all great. Uh, Kyle Hardigan as well. Wow, the Tigers look like they had it. It was that third quarter with the good end, and then we just fought back and forth in that last quarter. <laughs> big, big, big game. Man, guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so then you guys will know when my videos come out. That's just amazing. But like, to, ma to manage to come down, to come back from that far down, like, that's just... They beat us. They bet us in every area today. So, to know that, that's just amazing. So, 
as we get closer to finals, which I'm pretty sure we're going to be in now. If we have a look at how things are shaping up, I think we're going to be in finals, depending on who we've got now. I think it's the Cats or the Hawks. I don't think we've played the Cats, the Hawks and the Roos. So, yeah, we're going to have the Hawks, Cats and Kangaroos to round it out. 12-6 now. So, it's actually still pretty even. We're still in second. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's big, guys. It's big. So, let's have a look at what we're going to be. The run home for us. Uh, the Hawks, who are in 15th, that should be a, that should be a game that we should win. So we've got the Hawks, then we've got the Kangaroos, and we finish things off at DMHBA against the Cats. So, oh, let's just have a look at the round we had. So we managed to beat Richmond in what was probably game of the season, uh, and then Essendon got over Collingwood. Uh, GWS lost to Brisbane, which was a surprise. Uh, then the Dogs bet the Cats down at GMHBA. So let's let's have a look. So you can pretty much easily win down there. It's just the atmosphere is what I'll say. And then, well, St Kilda beat Hawthorne. That game's actually on today. <laughs> uh, and what time is that? Nine? Oh, no, but it's not a night time. And then over in Perth, West Coast Storm, home against Port. Carlton smashed the Roos. Swans smashed the Demons. Oh, good job, Swans. We need we need you to do that. And then Suns got over Fremantle. So that was the round. And let's have a look at the round that we're in now. So we see the uh, down at GMHBA, we see the Giants get over the Cats, actually. Cats starting to play a little bit better down there. Collingwood get over the D's and West Coast get over the Lions. Right, it's going to be a big game next episode. Massive game. Let's just have a look uh, who is leading our Coleman now because that could have changed because um, pretty quiet was Fogarty against the Richmond Tigers. So we need to make sure that, yes, Lachlan Murphy is on top and then Tom Lynch and then Jordan Gallucci. So... Darcy Fogarty's gone down to fourth. He was first before we came in. Now he's fourth. Billy Frampton, uh, don't even, I don't think he got a goal. He might have got one goal that game. Tex got nine. Crouch, eight. That's Matt Crouch. His brother Brad's on five. So Matt Crouch has been the goal kicker. What about goal assists out of the Crouch brothers? So Matt Crouch has had eight. Brad Crouch has had 12. So Crouch has helped out with more goals than Matt has. Now, let's go to... um. Let's go to the disposals. Who's had the most kicks for us? Matt Crouch. Who's had the most handles? Brad Crouch. Who's had the most disposals? Matt Crouch. Yeah, I'd agree. Contested possessions. Matt Crouch. Uh, uncontested possessions. Matt Crouch. Disposal efficiency. Brad Crouch. Clangers. Riley O'Brien. All right. Well, I think that's going to see us for the video. No, it's not actually. There's two more things. That I'm going to be doing. We're going to be having a look at our inbox. Report on Team Hawthorne. Hawthorne have won eight games and Luke Bruce is in red hot form. Tyson Sting. Uh, Brad Crouch, Riley Bryant and Matt Crouch were the performers against Richmond. Now, I'm actually just going to go through and clear my emails on camera uh, just so then you guys know. So, I'm going to be keeping... So, where's the welcome to the club one? New debutant, Shane McAdam. Yeah, I... I do like doing that. Um, so yeah, Tom Lynch. Yeah, don't need that. Don't need that. Mid-season uh, AFL match review. We do need to keep the. Uh, we do need to keep the AFL match review. We don't need to um, keep the. We do need to keep the. Do we need to keep new debutants? I don't think. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, then we got Darcy Fogarty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So pretty much. I've been very happy with um, how well things have gone. So, yeah, I've been pretty happy. I'll clear out my emails another time. This is not very fun. But I've been super impressed with how well um, this season has actually gone, how far we can perhaps make it. And, yeah. Oh, I just deleted my report on Team Hawthorne. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, well, Luke Bruce is in red hot form. So I'm pretty sure I'll just do... I won't do team selection now, but I'll just go over the team that we've already got now. Um, Gallucci, Fogarty, Murphy, McKay, Walker, Lynch, Brian Crouch, Crouch, Gibbs, Seisman, Atkins, Duday, Hardigan, Brown, Miller. And then what do we got here? All right, so we're going to be making our decision next week, but I'm going to set the team to the default. I'm going to set the team to the default. 
But yes, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I am gonna go through and do my training real quick, uh, the way I like to do it. So Tyson Stengel, Wilson, who's got, who's got some points that we can use? Ben Crocker does. Ben Crocker does. So yeah, see look, I like to put it up on the speed. Acceleration, uh, tackle, no, nah, not tackle break. Then we can just put it on like, goal kick set shot and then you can put one more on like a weak foot or something like that for Ben Crocker so there we go we've got Ben Crocker done Tom Leach has got some points as well so we'll put them onto him um, I reckon his kicking should go up to 99 then his speed acceleration and then we can put one on a one per on a on a weak foot I reckon that sounds pretty good to me so now he's 88 and Lachlan Murphy's got some points as well as all these people which I don't really don't really do points for so we've got Lachlan Murphy and then that's going to end the video so I'm going to start saying the outro I hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so then you guys will be notified when more videos come out uh, I've been really really happy with how well this gone so far, I will put one on to tackle break for Murphy, and I think that's going to be it. But yes, this has been an amazing video to make for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, so then you guys will be notified when more videos come out. That's it from me now, guys. So bye, guys. Fire plays out.